Hi folks, Earl McDonald here. So this is my second day blogging about my current jazz arranging project. I'm writing a big band chart for the Canadian jazz drummer Tyler Hornby on his uh, composition entitled Dig In Buddy. Okay, so yesterday I made a list of ideas, things that I might consider further expanding. Um, first thing on that list was uh, identifying the fact that the tune is written in a hard bop flavor, kind of reminiscent of Art Blakey. So my idea was, how can I take that quality and reinforce it, making it even stronger than it already is? So uh, I decided to experiment a little bit with, uh, with a three-horn voicing that I call a crunch voicing. So basically it consists of a, uh, uh, a third underneath the melody, and then underneath that, a half step. So, so it's that kind of sound. And oftentimes you hear these things over, over top of a pedal point, and they move around. That kind of sound. So what I did, I took his uh, harmonic progression, and I tried to apply that. So uh, this will truly reveal how old school I am. Here's my old cassette tape recorder. I recorded myself playing the melody in time, and now what I'll do, I'll play the tape and uh, with this little vamp underneath just so you get an idea of how, uh, how the two ideas work together. And that's often how I work. There's no uh, fancy sequencers in my life. I keep it, uh, keep it real simple. Okay, so here we go. So that's my first idea, and that little vamp it might serve uh, as a good introduction. It'll also uh, it can underpin the melody as you just heard, and um, probably I'll orchestrate it uh, with the trombone section doubled by the uh, by the piano player and the rhythm section playing along. So I also dabbled with a couple of other ideas from yesterday's list. One observation I made was that there's a really nice strong rhythmic lick at the very end of the piece, the very last measure in fact, and here's how it sounds. I like the rhythmic quality of that. Uh, I like how it goes into the upper register and it serves as kind of a sound off going into the solos. So it has a lot of potential for expansion. Um, another observation with this piece is that the chords change at a very rapid rate. In fact, the harmonic rhythm is such that they're changing every two beats almost consistently throughout the piece. So uh, I was thinking maybe at some point I can expand the harmonic rhythm so we get a section where chords might be lasting for a longer time period, like four whole measures or, or even longer. So in a sense it kind of uh, it gives us a reprieve. It also creates kind of a modal environment, potentially. So I took that one little lick and uh, took it through a few different uh, reharmonizations to create, I guess what I'll call an expanded uh, sound off. So it would sound like this. So instead of going to C minor, I'm going to go to G flat 7. And then uh, there could be a little bit of improv. Then that idea would continue to be reharmonized. Again, followed by a little bit of improv. Then I'd continue. from a uh, G flat 7 to an E flat 7 to a D7 to a D flat 7 to G7, which is 5 uh, of the home key, which brings us back uh, to C minor. Okay, so there's two ideas, and uh, that's probably all I'll share with you for now. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, by the end of today I'm going to have at least a rough draft of what the uh, overall form of this piece could be. Uh, it may change, but uh, it's, that's going to be my uh, launch pad and, and uh, hopefully take me to the next stage. Okay, I hope you'll continue joining me on this uh, little journey.